Hello, Mass Attacks here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at the Polish Tier 10 medium tank. It is the CS63. And if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to subscribe. So before we get into the action, I'll show you my crew and equipment that I'm currently using on this tank. I do have a good crew on this tank. Starlight me commanders onto a 6th skill, the rest are just about finished the 5th skill. The equipment that I use in the special mobility slot is Bounty Ventilation. I've also got Bounty Rammer and Bounty Optics. So let's have a look at it in action. Today I'm playing on Corellia. It's an assault mode and I'm the defending team. And I've also got the 510 matchmaking and I'm top tier today. So at the beginning of the battle, I had a look at the teams and what I noticed is there's no scouts in this game. So with the mobility of this tank, it will be the best in the battle. I wanted to make a dash straight for the hill where the enemy will all camp on and there's a great position and here it is. And I'm just gonna sit in here and try and spot and see what type of assistance I get. As you can see, I'm spotting people on the top of the hill and now I'm getting assistance. I have spotted five so far. I'm quite safe here. You can get hit from the right. Nobody's firing as yet. So I've managed to sneak shot into the E50. So if you ever want to make this move in a battle, you've got to do it right at the beginning of the battle. And don't hesitate, don't stop to fire at anybody. You've just got to get straight to this position. And then see if you can get any sneaky shots into the enemy. Another reason I've done this move is because my view range on this tank, especially since I've got bounty optics on it, my view range is really good. I have got a view range of 501 meters. So if any of the enemy tried to push through the field, I would have spotted them first and then they would have taken a lot of damage. This A50 is pushing forward trying to get us from this position because he knows how strong it is. So I've managed to get a shot into him and I'm getting some support. I've gotten a second shot into him. I've taken two shots from him. But I should be able to take him out with his shot and there it goes. So I'm safe again. And so far I'm up to 4,000 assistance. There is a position that can counter this position and that's to me right. Just as you go to the first level of the hill, there's a rock. If you sit behind that rock, you can get shot into me turret but nobody's taken that, so, so I'm free to just sit here and farm some tanks, and I've just set that object 430 on fire, so that's great. Another good thing about this position, the enemy cannot push through the swamp and get into D4, which is a really strong position to spot all our team sitting at the base defending. So this is really an excellent position if you can get to it. Normally you have to do it in a light tank, since there isn't any light tanks, it's even better getting there in this medium. Now I can just support my team in the west, get some easy damage in. Now to me right, in the east, I can see a Leopard 1. And that's roughly the position he can get shots into us, but I'm not even lit at the moment. Nobody's spotting us, and nobody's peeking off the top of the hill, because I'll proxy spot them. So I'm just free to sit here, farm these tanks, so as I do, I'll tell you about the gun you get on this tank, and it's not too bad, it's not the greatest though. It's 105mm, you get 390 alpha damage with 258mm of penetration, which isn't too bad. I've got a reload time of 6.75 seconds, which gives us a DBM of 3467, which is really good. But my aim time is 2.09 seconds, which is nothing special. And I've got a dispersion of 0.33, which is average as well. You also get 8 degrees of gun depression with this tank. And a really nice thing is your shell velocity, which is 1241 meters per second. So I've finally been spotted. Back chat EAP above us. Proxy spotting us, but I've lit him and I'm getting assistance. And now I'm pushing up the hill since I've supported my team and the one the west. I've also spotted an STB-1 on the hill and I've taken a shot from him. I have to say the armour is a bit poor on this tank. On your hull, 80mm on the front, 50 on the side, 40 on the rear. But the 
front of the turret's nice, it's the only decent armour you've got on this tank and that's 260mm, the side and rear are really poor, it's 60mm and 40mm. So only two tanks left, Jagpanzer 100's in the north, only the STB-1 down here, I've got 5,000 damage in, 5,000 assistance, see if I can finish this STB-1 off, I'm suspecting he's went round here. There's my team pushing, so I'm going to try and get round the back of them. Flank round, you'll not be focusing on me since all my team's pushing round from the west. So I'm pushing down, I'm behind him, shot into him. Can I get another shot into him? He's focusing the 430. There's a second shot into him. Just pull him back and take a shot. And can I ram him to finish off? Just beaten by the artillery, that would have been a great ending. Let's have a quick look at the stats. It was a master ES tank reward. I got the spotter ribbon because I spotted for 5,702. Also got the high caliber for me 6,345 damage. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1,309. Top for damage. I made 66,000 credits plus 4,910 XP. That's due to a personal reserve bonus and an award for the first victory each day, which was at times two. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. I hope you enjoyed it and found the information useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment. And if you're new, please subscribe to the channel. There's a little icon in the bottom left hand corner. Cheers.